This is Talk Business and Politics with Roby Brock. Welcome to today's Talk Business and Politics Daily. I'm Roby Brock, joined by Johnny Allison, Chairman of Home Bank Shares. Good to see you good as see always. You. Get you, you in here. Good, good to see you, my friend. Your hand. Yes, sir. Uh, another big quarter for Home Bank Shares. So big, as a matter of fact, that you just all you could say was it was outstanding. I couldn't be more pleased. I've never seen you at that speechless about a performance in a quarter. Well, they, they hit all the numbers. I mean, uh, the 36% efficiency, and we went, we were up on the income side 52%, uh, from 50 million to 76 million. Uh, I, you know, loan growth, uh, originated loan growth, uh, $957 million. I really, I've never been with a quarter where I don't tell them we need more, 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 but it was pretty good. Okay, Johnny Allison's letting his foot off the gas pedal, I think. is No, the no, no. no. Ne <laughs> never, never. Let's talk about Shore Premier Finance. That was a big announcement you guys have made in recent weeks here. It's a specialty lender in a big boat business there. You like big boats too. Correct. I tell, me, tell me why Shore, well, why did that one make so much sense? Well, it just guys? came up, uh, the opportunity came up, and, and, and if you've seen the, Bank prices lately on straight M&A, whole bank M&A, they've really gone through the rough, the prices have. So it doesn't make any sense to do an M&A transaction right now. It comes to dilute of your shareholders. And as you know, we don't dilute. So this opportunity came up. I could have spent $600 million and added $0.04 cents a share to earnings per share. And I spent $20 million and added $0.04 cents a share to EPS. So from the largest individual shareholder, it was really a pretty simple decision. Uh, let's talk a little politics here. I'm not sure where your politics are on Donald Trump personally, but I know from a professional standpoint, you like fewer regulations, you like tax cuts. Tell me how you see things playing out in the economy uh, based on what you've been seeing uh, during the Trump administration. Well, from an uh, economic perspective, it's really been very good. Uh, employment's good. From a tax savings perspective, uh, Donald Trump gave us about $55 million, gave home bank shares. What'd you so do with it? We hadn't done anything with it yet, really, to speak of. I bought back about 800,000 shares. Our stock's been on sale, so, you know, when it's on sale, you buy it back. So we bought back about 800,000 shares. We'll continue to be in the buyback mode, and mm -hmm. when they put it on sale, we'll buy it. Uh, we will uh, uh, probably reduce some debt. Uh, we'll probably increase our dividend for our shareholders. and. Uh, uh, we'll just, we got all the handles to pull. We, home balance sheet is in such good shape, we have all the handles to pull. And your stock's been trading somewhere in the $23 per share range, a little high, a little low sometimes on that. You've said at your shareholders meeting not too long ago, and you still continue to say it to this day, that your share price is, is undervalued. What's it going to take to make it move? I don't really know, except keep your head down, do the right thing, which is what we do. But uh, in uh, 16 and 17, the stock was trading at $28, $29 a share. Now it's trading at $22, $23, and that was $600 million in income ago. So, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not rational. So sometimes the market, as Alex Lebelong says, the market can stay irrational longer than you, he can stay solvent. So. <laughs> I think a phrase I've heard at one time too is that the stock market can sometimes be manic depressive there. Just you never know what's going to trigger it in one direction or the other. And so maybe that's a little bit of what's going on there. Uh, obviously acquisition still on your horizon. If you want to break some news today and tell me that there's a new bank that you're planning on buying, sure. that would be great. Sure. Be if good. you just want to talk maybe more generally about where you're looking in terms of acquisitions, that would be cool too. Well, we never get out completely out of the acquisition market, but as high priced as they are right now, they're kind of, they become dilutive to your shareholders. And as the largest individual shareholder, as I said, I don't have any intention to dilute myself, so I'm not going to dilute my shareholders. But the truth is that there are great opportunities coming around. The prices are beginning to come back. They ran up. There were three deals done oh, in the last 90 days that absolutely diluted their shareholders into infinity. And when you see those kind of trades, you just back up. And the, and the part is just stay patient, discipline. Be disciplined, continue to be disciplined and do the right thing and run your company properly. Uh, an underperforming stock in your words and a very healthy balance sheet and really good strong profits. Could you guys be an acquisition target yourself? Well, we could be. You know, when, when you evaluate prices from that aspect have come our way. Uh, we're trading at about 
3.1 times tangible book. We were trading at four. It's where we ought to be trading, north of $30. But what the last three deals that were done were done north of in the three times tangible book range. So my, I don't know if prices are coming to us in that respect. They're not coming to us for us to do, be the acquirer. So maybe we'll be the acquired someday. That's not my game. We're not out there to do that. Right. I'm just watching it happen. All right. Anything else you want to say that we need to know just in terms of um, if you want to break some news, if you want to make some market moving news today, I'd love to have your new investor relations person have to file a special filing with the SEC. Oh, that, well, would be, I, that would be news to me. I'm sure Ms. Towns will be thrilled to do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, he is Johnny Allison. He is the chairman of Home Bank Shares. Always good to be with you. Thank you for your you insights good on you. everything. Thank you. All Appreciate right. it. That's all for today's Talk Business and Politics Daily. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Roby Brock. We'll see you next time. Arkansas Electric Cooperative Corporation provides electric energy across two-thirds of Arkansas. This is an exciting time in our energy history, with incredible progress being made in renewable energy and storage technologies. As our energy portfolio continues to diversify, We'll maintain an all-the-above strategy to provide reliable and affordable electricity. Ever since the first light bulbs were placed in our members' homes, the electric cooperatives have been the solutions provider for our members, and we want to continue that well into the future. Each day, the promise of our nation begins again. Arkansas and America moving forward. I help make that promise a reality. It's not for everyone. But people everywhere depend on us. Oh, I love you too, Trucking delivers, or everything stops. And that's what drives me.